Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be going over a scorpion themed build. And honestly, you chop up every enemy you come across so easily, the only thing missing from this would be one of his over the top fatalities. So don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content, cause if you don't. If you find this video enjoyable, I have tons of other build related videos on my channel, if you want to check those out afterwards. Well, saying all of that, let's dive into the build starting off, with Scorpion's Katana. And we have that fully covered with the Ichigatana. I've said this a lot, but katanas are probably one of the strongest weapons in the game, with their scaling being pretty good, decently fast attack speed, and a solid variety for Ashes of War. We're also going to use the keen version for the most damage possible, and it allows us to place an effect on the weapon, to really match that fiery look that Scorpion has. For that we can use the spell Blood Flame, it adds extra fire damage to our weapon, and a bleed build up as well. What's really nice about this, is katanas passively come with blood loss, so adding this buff to our weapon is going to make it a lot easier to proc a bleed build up, while we still have a good amount of physical damage. So why not just throw on the Lord of Blood's Exaltation Talisman, to get a 20% damage buff whenever a blood loss happens near us, since it's going to be so easy to get going. Now for the Ash of War, this is going to be completely up to you. Because he has a ton of special attacks he does, and I couldn't find one that stands out amongst the rest. <laughs> I'll still give you a few really solid options though. Like using Unsheath will give you a ton of damage in an instance, and it just looks extremely cool. Something I use quite often with a lot of builds. Or if you want something that hits a bit harder, going with Sword Dance will do just that. The drawback to it, is it is a two-part Ash of War, meaning, it'll be a bit harder to get the full use out of it, for full damage. And the last Ash of War, which is right in the middle of the two, doing more damage than Unsheath, with more range, and less time to use than Sword Dance. Impairing Thrust. Again, there's no right or wrong option here, all of these Ashes of War are going to tear your opponent's ass in half. Also, throwing on the Shard of Alexander to increase their damage by an extra 15% is going to be really handy all around. Before I continue on, I do want to mention that there is a way to break the game with this build, if you get stuck on a boss fight or something. Don't use this in PvP or you're just a dick, it's only meant if you're playing alone. If you use the Spellfire's Deadly Sin to set yourself on fire, pretty much like how Scorpion does. And you have the Spell Blood Flame applied to your weapon. Whenever you stand around an enemy, a blood loss will proc on them rapidly from combining the spells, fires, deadly sin, and blood flame. As you can see, you're going to clap anyone you come across with ease. He also uses another little katana called the Wakizashi. There's nothing too special about this weapon, cause it is a dagger, and they don't do a lot of damage alone. So the best thing we can do for this, is to use the bleed variation on it, just to proc a blood loss faster. And we all know when we dual wield weapons, we attack a lot quicker as well. So we can take advantage of this by using the Rotten Wing Talisman, that increases our damage with successive attacks, to really become a fucking monster in the fight. Now that his swords are out of the way, we can finally get into his most iconic weapon, his whip. The best thing for this is the Ermi whip. You get the same look of him throwing the chain directly at someone by using the charged heavy attack. Also this weapon gets an S scaling for dex, so you know this is going to be a really powerful item to use. 
but my favorite thing by far about this is yell he does before he drags people in. Get over here! Except ours is even better, cause it actually does damage, that being the beast's raw ash of war. Nice little rhyme to it, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Your character just shouts and sends a blast of wind at whoever you're targeting. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. It's got decent damage, medium range, and you can spam it rapidly for back-to-back -back ranged attacks. I mean, I'm also using the raw medallion, which helps out with its damage, so that's another reason why it's actually pretty good. And the last thing we have for his weapons is the sacred seal. I'm just using the giant seal to boost fire's deadly sins damage by an extra 20% it's really not that special cause the spell doesn't do a lot of damage alone and you could very easily go with just the finger seal. So I think we're all covered for his damage, now let's go over some buffs we can use to make us extremely strong. One of them being Golden Vow, it's going to add an extra 15% damage to all of our attacks, and 10% damage negation for 80 seconds. This is another thing I use in a lot of builds, just because of how strong and effective it is to use in almost every situation. The other way we can buff our character, is with the Flask of Wondrous Physic. The best two tiers to use with this, is the Thorny Crack tier which does the same thing as the Rotten Wing Talisman, increasing our damage with successive attacks. And the Crimson Burst tier, that's going to regenerate our health over time, almost cancelling out the self-damaging effect caused by the spell, Fire's Deadly Sin. Now for the armor that gives us that scorpion look. You can go with the Black Hood, Erd Tree Surcoat, Iron Gauntlets, and Radon's Boots. None of these give any kind of special bonuses or buffs, and it's all simply for cosmetic purposes only. Lastly we have the minimum stats required. You need at least 19 dex, 11 strength, 25 faith, and 10 arcane to use all the weapons and spells effectively. Afterwards, I'd recommend putting majority of your points into dexterity to further increase your damage. I'm also going to put links in the description down below for all the gear I'm using. If you want more information on them and where you can find them all for yourselves. Well, that's everything for today's video, I'd also like to give a big thanks to the members of my channel for supporting me on my videos, and the future ones to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.